Hello, this video is dedicated to the Bootstrap validator. So, uh, provided that uh, we open the validator GitHub repository, uh, we can find the details how to connect the validator library to any form. Uh, so, here is an example in uh, Modex CMS where we have a bootstrap uh, form with uh, a layout uh, the same as uh, the usual bootstrap form should have. It goes with a group container, label and input just like the form on the example which is required with the required code structure container with form group input and uh, label so we have container form group which it has class form group which is required label and uh, normal input so when we try to include this library I've previously downloaded this library and included validated GS and uh, I'm connecting this to the, my form and on submit I'm outputting the result of submitting just for debugging purposes Let's get back to our form. So imagine that we are trying to submit this form and see what the debug messages say. Let's click on join now. And uh, the validator says the form is invalid. So let's try to simulate that we have inputted every field correctly. Okay, let's click again join now and we've got again the same error messages. Uh, besides the error message, we the input field is not highlighted Write, write the same like on the validator example. On the validator example you see the, the not inputted field, the wrong field is highlighted with red so the user can uh, easily understand which field is filled incorrectly. So because of this the usual bootstrap form should be redeveloped to meet this uh, the not only the structure but even all all classes and fields that are used here on here on example so i have a template with a few, a few fields um, redesigned with the bootstrap example. Let's try this and see if it works. So the usual field, the usual code for the form should be removed because it's it never works correctly with the validator. I have rewritten all classes names and uh, attributes properties for each container and uh, label input and let's try to see how it works. 
let's refresh the page okay I have just two fields let me try to click join now okay we see that the name all fields become red just like one example and they go green and So here is the solution now for has been successfully submitted. Just like it should work on the validator. So when you use uh, when it's needed to use a validator in order to not lose time with your form code, I would advise to use the form code even if the lay layout is the same in order to not spend a lot of time it's better to use the form from the example and rewrite it to your input names that you require thank you